While large plants do make a statement, they take up a lot of indoor space. If you're looking for options that can fit in the smallest spaces, grow these adorable mini indoor plants in small pots, cups, or mugs, and place them anywhere you like. Number one, Tolkien Jade Group. The Tolkien Group of jade plants is admired for their dwarf structure. You can grow Gollum, Hobbit, and Ladyfingers. Number two, Dwarf Snake Plant. You can grow dwarf snake plant varieties. They're perfect for tabletops. Pair them with beautiful rustic pots for the best display. Number three, Norfolk Friendship Plant. This beautiful plant is also popular as angel wings. It displays an array of oval, bronze-red, furrowed leaves with intricate silver lines that look awesome. Number four, African Violet. The elegant, frilly purple flowers with contrasting green foliage look gorgeous. It's a great plant for tabletops. Number five, Purple Shamrock. This low-growing indoor plant with vibrant, rich purple foliage can add a pop of color to any dull-looking corner of your room. Number six, Milo Calenco. Milo is a compact succulent with velvety, scalloped leaves having hazy green shades. In summer, it forms clusters of small yellow-green flowers. Number seven, Cryptianthus. Popular for its star-shaped leaves, it comes from terrestrial bromeliads. The leaves come in beautiful shades of bronze, brown, red, pink, and green. Number eight, Hanky Dwarf Aloe. This adorable small indoor succulent plant has a rosette of green to brown leaves covered with white bumps on both sides. Number nine, Fairy Elephant's Feet. This stemless succulent forms a cluster of finger-like gray-green leaves that are attached just above the soil. It also grows attractive pink flowers. Number 10, Euphorbia decarii. This rare plant is really small and doesn't cross six inches in height. It can be a quick bonsai and looks good on tabletops. Number 11, the zebra plant. If you love succulents, you simply can't ignore the zebra plant. With its white horizontal stripes on dark green foliage, this compact plant is super charming to look at. Number 12, eye leaves. Eye leaves are small succulents with grass, pale, or jade green bodies of paired foliage. The leaves are spotted at the edges with a transparent window at the tip. Number 13, scotch moss. This plant will give you an impression of a mini garden in a small container as it looks velvety green. It thrives in cool and moist conditions. Number 14, Watermelon Peperomia. The small leaves look like many watermelons, while the plant stays compact and looks great with its lush foliage. Also, a great plant for beginners. Number 15, Lithops. Living Stones is a unique shaped succulent that looks like colorful pebbles. It's easy to grow and looks super amazing in small pots. Number 16, Air Plants. Epiphytes are very forgiving in nature. Set them in a small basket or a mini terrarium and they'll continue to thrive in indirect sunlight. Number 17, Hoya Heart Plant. Do you want a small house plant that looks like a heart growing on your desk? Choose Hoya Heart Plant or Hoya Carii. Grow it under bright, direct sunlight and water it three to four times a week. Number 18, Peperomia Caparata Rosso. With its dark red undersides and textured shiny green leaves, Peperomia Caparata Rosso is also called the radiator plant. It's easy to care for and can thrive well in low light conditions. Number 19, Moon Cactus. A mini cactus can be one of the best choices when looking for the best tiny house plants that are super cute. Just grow it in bright sunlight and the lovely color will add charm to the interiors. Number 20, Baby Tears. Everything about this baby tear plant is cute, from the name to the myriad tiny leaves. The stunning foliage can instantly add character and charm to your home decor. Number 21, Peperomia Watermelon. 
grow Peperomia watermelon if you're looking for an adorable little house plant. It can usually grow up to six to eight inches in height and width and will be a lovely addition to your coffee table. Number 22, String of Pearls. The String of Pearls belongs to South Africa and can retain maximum water in its minimal leaf surface area. It will look gorgeous with its interesting leaf patterns in any corner of your home. Number 23, the Venus Flytrap. Grow this carnivorous plant if you're a fan of spooky houseplants. It can make for a striking little houseplant with its teeth-like edges and insect-eating qualities. Number 24, Aloe. An aloe or a mini aloe is a must-have tiny houseplant. Get a mini aloe variety to feed your appetite for cute tiny house plants. Number 25, Woolly Thyme. Place a pot of woolly thyme on your center table or bookshelf. This plant with fuzzy, soft leaves releases a savory burst of thyme fragrance whenever it's benched. Number 26, Crested Rat's Tail Cactus. Choose this small cactus with a big visual appeal that can add texture, drama, and color to your home. Grow it in a spot that receives plenty of sunlight and water the soil only when it's completely dry. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.